Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the streamer awards. And yes, I know the streamer awards don't really matter a lot, but I just kind of want to give my opinion on these. And I know it's kind of like a kind of a millionaire streamer circle jerk of saying who who can be better than others, if that makes sense. But you know, whatever. But uh, I'm going to be giving some opinions on some of the you know the winners. So legacy streamer. It, it definitely deserves to be Jerma, and I'm glad that they showed an entire, like, clip, uh, like, just an entire, like, collage of clips and a bunch of just compilations of clips uh, just showing how entertaining of a streamer he is. He is my favorite streamer of all time. I've said this already, but he's just so entertaining. And the fact that he can still innovate, he can still do crazy stuff, uh, like, this late into his career, like, that's insane. And he's just going to continue doing that. He's just going to continue doing that. And that's what I love about him. He just continues to do more crazy, more batshit shit. And that's what I love. And uh, yeah, also has a very rabid and insane fan base that is crazy and unironic, but kind of unironic way as well. Uh, just, yeah, his community, it's kind of not been the same since the Among Us and like, oh, so sky era. But it still has some really good one guys here and there. And the whole community as a whole, disregarding the fucking weirdos. Yeah, it's a good community. But who do I think deserved streamer of the year? Well, you know, Jerma. I, yeah, I said it. I said he's my favorite streamer. But did Kai definitely deserve to win? Yeah. He deserved to win. He came out of nowhere and just completely blew up, became the most subscribed channel on Twitch, and has a pretty entertaining personality. And this isn't going into the crazy allegations and, you know, being friend with the rapist kind of allegation. That's fucking weird. I don't want to delve into that topic. You can do your own research on that if you want. I have seen some videos on it. I can't make a conclusive like opinion on it. But it is pretty strange. And uh, yeah, I kind of gloss over that. But he definitely did. Just talking in stream perspective, yeah, he deserved it. Um, but XQC would have probably been my second pick, even though I feel like he didn't do a ton this year. And I know a lot of XQC fans were getting mad at me. I'm one of them as well. Uh, but I feel like he just didn't do a ton this year. But uh, he admitted it himself when he won the variety year. I definitely think he did deserve that award. So I'm glad he did win that award. He finally won something, which is good. But uh, yeah, I feel like he said it best himself. He just really had to struggle with personal life and just not had a wasn't up to his like a game in terms of content. But hopefully next year will be better. And hopefully you'll fucking stop watching so many TikToks, man. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. And uh, my thoughts on the streamer awards. And I really do uh, enjoy a lot of the streamers that were on there. But yeah, that's basically it. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.